Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. We, uh, we don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. Uh, but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? What is this place? Well, in ancient times, this used to be a tourist town. My people have lived here and on the island for generations. But now everyone's crowded onto the docks just trying to survive another day. We have more than our fair share of problems. You aren't here to add to them, are you? A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hull never lets us down. Now follow me! Be careful on the hull, stranger. Don't fall off. If you do, we might not be able to rescue you in time. Time. Look to the fog. They're coming. on the phone. Scraping by. Good. 
Avery. And now you see what we're up against. The fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. For your help when we needed it. You deserve this. What's the fog? Where to begin? The fog's radioactive, right? But there are pockets of it, the deep fog, that are hard fallout. And as deadly as that is, that's only part of the problem. Things live in the fog, thrive. You think what attacked the harbor's bad? Oh, there's far worse further inland. You've lost the whole island? Oh, the fog's been here forever. There are good years when it recedes and the island's almost normal. Then there are times when it spreads all over. And people have to cling to any patch of land free of the fog. For the past, oh, eight years or so, it's been getting as bad as it's ever been. Now, Far Harbor's one of the only places left that's safe. If you managed to survive despite all that, it must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the Rat Eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden a stranger with all this nonsense. What's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. Worship the power of Adam. Which is uh, radiation, I guess. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace with them until a certain hothead menace named Alan Lee... Now that's enough. That preacher came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. What did he do to the preacher? Alan pulled a gun on him. He claims the preacher reached for his. We don't have police, or really any law. Just custom and popular sentiment. And after everything the preacher said, it was abundantly clear doing anything to Alan would have made matters worse. Have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. The fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's covering the whole island. But only after the children came. You know as well as I do, that's happened before. Sure, people have theories the children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed inland to the Synth Refuge, Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. What's Old Longfellow's story? He's the best hunter on the island. Fearless. <laughs> Some say crazy. If someone needs to get to Acadia, he's the only one that'll do it. But, uh, people around here are known for being stubborn, willful, and other, less flattering things. But Longfellow's got a reputation even among us. What can you tell me about Acadia? Ask Longfellow. He's the only one that's been there. Thanks for the info. <sighs> Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. What are you looking at? Hey there. Need general supplies? Visit the bait shop.
Alan. Huh. The mainlander. Great. Fire your gun a few times and you think you're some sort of hero? This is our fight. Our island. Not yours. Don't you want a helping hand? Hell no. Once you start leaning on people, soon you can't walk no good on your own. What happens next time when you wait here, huh? For the next. Either us harbormen survive on our own terms, or we take the long walk together. So if you're here to buy some ordnance, do your business. Otherwise, take the first boat out of here. Before the children of Adam are worse, get you. What's your problem with the children of Adam? We should have gunned those bastards down the moment they set foot here. Instead, we let them in. All in secret from wherever they're holed up. They've been feeding the fog. Getting it stronger. Strong enough to push us all out of our homesteads. Further and further until it's a wonder we're not all drowned in the ocean. Do you have any proof that they've fed the fog? Proof? We wait for that and we might as well pull the trigger ourselves. Look, my daddy's time, the fog was a nuisance. Something you avoided. Now every day it gets stronger. It's like the fire's a hell out there. Because of the children. Show me what you got. You got it. Mariner. The hull took a battering. To be sure. But she wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me the Mariner. Shipwright. Handyman. I'm the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Well, besides Captain Avery. A pleasure to meet you. Likewise. I hope the island doesn't kill you quick. Or slow, for that matter. I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. And they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. So I'd be risking my life for only 450 caps. I'm a bit short on caps. But I have old Jimmy's shotgun I can give you. Heavens no, he can't use it anymore. You've kept the walls together this long. Why do you need special tools now? I want to build the hull up proper, make it strong, and keep those blasted crabs out. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. The tools are certain to be there. Now get. Hey, Amarin. You been to the tannery? find my tools yet? Can you tell me about the tannery? A man named Pauly used to camp there. Very handy fellow. Fog rolled in a year back, and he had to pull up his stake. He left the harbor recently, so everything that's there is fair salvage. I'll find them for you soon. As I said, it's a dangerous place. Mind yourself. Hey. I'd be happy to help if I can. Ada? These are for you.
Captain. I hope the harbor's been good to you. At this point, I'd settle if folks were just plain civil. What's the history of this place? Well, this whole dock used to belong to the Mariner, when the fog started getting thicker. Family by family, homestead by homestead, people were kicked out of their homes inland. The Mariner was kind enough to let people stay. The harbor just kind of grew out of that charity. What's there to do in town? Brooks sells general goods. Teddy writes in back of his shop, and he can patch you up if you need it. Besides that, the last plank's a popular stop for booze and what have you. And lastly, well, if you need a gun, see Alan Lee. You know of anyone that could use some help? It's never easy to ask anyone on this island for help, much less a stranger. But I've got a responsibility to these people, and I have a job for you if you're up for it. Besides, I know you're tougher than you look. Just tell me the problem. We get our drinking water from a purifier not far outside of town. We had a bad storm not long before you got here, and it must have damaged the fog condensers that protect the road to the purifier. I sent Howard Dunbar out to fix them. He was out there when the Meyer Lurks hit us, and I'm, I'm afraid they might have got him, too. I was hoping you might go have a look. If the worst happened, Maybe you could get those fog condensers back online. If you're up to it, just head south out of town. It's paying work, of course. I wouldn't ask a stranger to stick their neck out on our behalf, unless I was willing to pay a fair share for it. What exactly are these fog condensers? How do they work? Well, I'm no engineer, but the way it was explained to me, each fog condenser pulls in the air around it and then condenses it into liquid. The point being, the fog doesn't get past them. They make a barrier that protects the town. No fog means that all the nasty things living in it stay in it. They don't venture out too often. The fog's at home, I guess. The fog condensers eat up a lot of power, but we've got a wind farm that takes care of that. As long as the turbines stay charged, we stay safe. Am I gonna need any tools or parts if I have to make these repairs on my own? The fog condensers need their power modules replaced, but Howard took the only spares we had. Either way, you're gonna have to find him first. All right, I'll head out there now. Good. Our water supply won't last much longer. What family are you talking about? I was just about to explain. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations. Even back before the war, it was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy, took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since, killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. Wait. Are you saying that I'm the mysterious stranger who's gonna help you avenge your family? Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That will be the sad story of freckle-faced Peter. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. 
He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. I was a sneaky bastard for once. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn shame. Where did you say these ghouls were? National Park Campground. It's pretty much straight west of here. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Phoenix. Mrs. Dalton. Damn those fellow ghouls. And damn the island for sending them after Phoenix. Excuse me. What the hell is a synth anyway? Eh? Need to drown your troubles? Talk to Mitch, the last plank. You know, I've heard there's a parcel of synths on this island now. Whatever the fuck that means. <sighs> Whatever. <clears throat> Don't talk to Bertha. She's crazy. Well, hello. Mm. Get mm. lost. I don't mm. need your charity. Hey, you, Bertha. You still here for some reason? Don't last long. If you ain't on, you ain't long for this world. 